Well, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, friend. I appreciate the opportunity to celebrate Christ in this holy day in which we remember that the divine gift was graciously given to us and mercy was extended to us from God the Father through Jesus Christ the Son. I appreciate sharing that reality with you today. You understand the true meaning of this wonderful time of year. It's wonderful because we have a Savior. My mind goes to Luke's record in chapter 2 and the angels' announcement. And the angels remind us that there is joy to be had. There's a good message. There's a Savior. And there's joy, a reason for rejoicing for all the people. That's you and that's me, friend. And, and I hope that you're rejoicing in Christ. There are lots of reasons for joy. Again, as I said, maybe you gave somebody something special and you saw their face light up and it warmed your heart. Maybe you were on the receiving end. But I hope more importantly that you understand the gift of God through Christ to you. Forgiveness of your sin. I hope you're celebrating forgiveness and salvation, a fresh start. Jesus called it being born again. And, and you know, Christmas reminds us that all of that is possible. But I got to be honest with you today, friend. The Lord has just put a bit of a heaviness on my heart. I've been praying for folks, probably some of you today, who have maybe found it hard to find joy during this Christmas season. Now, if you've got joy overflowing, let it keep rolling down the track. Let that train just keep going. But I'd like to take a moment and encourage some of you who are maybe having a hard time. Maybe you've got some joy because you know who Christ is, but it's mixed with some tears and and you're thinking of loved ones, people that you're separated from. Maybe you're separated from, by distance across the miles and you can't be with them. Maybe you're separated by time and your memory takes you back to fond memories, fond times, meals and loved ones and, and you're missing them. And, and some of you are, are missing some folks. You're separated by death. Some of your loved ones you've lost and they've graduated. And if they're in Christ, they're in a much better place today. And I just want to remind you today, I want you to know I'm praying for you. I want you to know that the presence of the Holy Spirit is available to rekindle your joy today, to bring you peace and comfort today. And I just want you to recognize the big picture. I know life in our moments can seem like this is all there is, but it's so small and it's so short in light of eternity. And the Lord promises us eternal life if we have placed our faith in him. So if your loved ones are there, they're seeing the Lord face to face. This is the best Christmas ever. Our celebrations pale in comparison to what our loved ones are experiencing. They've got a front row seat to the Son of God. And if they can even stand to be seated, they're part of an angelic choir. Hallelujah. And those Messiah doesn't have anything on that angelic choir that's rejoicing and singing and shouting hallelujah. You know, we're celebrating Christmas and we put out our decorations and we remember with nativities, we remember with wood and ceramic and plastic and glass, the baby Jesus and, and the gift of God. But, but they are there and they are in person. Oh, hallelujah. With other loved ones who have gone on before. Hey, I want to pray with you today that that reality will fill your heart with joy. The Lord said he's preparing a place for you and for me as well. If we place our faith in Jesus, we can look forward. We do grieve, but we have a hope. I want to pray with you, pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I pray your Holy Spirit will kindle our hearts with joy today because of your love for us. You're with us. You'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. And while we go through, through some heartache here, we miss our loved ones or across the miles. We have some memories we can't wait to see them again. Lord, we know they're in a better place and we rejoice for them today. I pray for my friends, Lord, whether they're from Calvary or from some other place, they're part of the family of God. I pray that they would have, again, faith sparked, hope sparked in their hearts that there is an eternity waiting for them. There is a feast waiting for them. There is a celebration waiting for them. And I pray for the joy of the Lord to be their strength today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, Bridget and I want to extend our best wishes and prayers for a meaningful, wonderful, Merry Christmas to you and those you love. We hope to see you soon.